Hey, I'm Chris Williams. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about how I set up my electronics when I go to a new body of water, whether it be fresh water or salt water, whether I'm sailing or general boating, whatever the case may be. This is how I set it up on my machine. In this case, we're up in the lower Niagara River and Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. I want to do some freshwater fishing for smallmouth. So you click it. All of these boxes are pre-made for the freshwater world. So you're not worried about radar, you're not worried about wind conditions and everything else a sailboater would use or an offshore boater would use in salt water. It's tailored to freshwater stuff. So this is my personal favorite screen. I have my chart, which is the majority of my screen. I have my chart sonar. I've got down vision and I've got real vision. All of it rolling out of one transducer all in one little unit. So when I'm looking for fish and I'm, I'm scouting, I'm, I'm hitting multiple locations trying to find what I really want. I want a large map and that's why it's so big. That way I can see everything wrapped up into one and I know where to steer and where to go and I'm not hunting for a spot. When I get there, I'm looking at my bottom machine, I'm looking at my real vision and I'm taking both of those together to discern where my structure is in relation to the boat. Is it on the right? Is it on the left? Port, starboard, however you want to say that. So when I get to where I'm going, I want to take and I want to minimize my map and make my real vision just a little bit bigger so that it can help me discern what I'm looking for. So I come into settings, go to page settings, and change the split ratio. And then I can just drag and drop. So in this case, I want my real vision just a little bit bigger so that I can see my bottom machine better. Now real vision is your down vision and your side vision combined into one 3D unit. And that's why I like using it because it can tell me what's what and where it is in relation to the boat. So the real vision is color coded red, yellow, blue, depending on how deep it is in the water. It's got nothing to do with how big the fish is, it's how deep something goes. That helps me understand how tall it is in the water so that I know exactly where I need to fish on it or how I need to set up on the structure to be able to fish. So here on this side, I have 2D chirp sonar and I have down vision. I use both of these to compare what I'm looking at so that I know, okay, here it looks like a, a bait ball. Down at the bottom, it's obviously not a bait ball. It's some kind of structure that comes up. So having these two options allows me to truly understand what's below my boat that makes me a much more proficient angler when I'm all over the Great Lakes hunting for fish, be it lake trout, be it salmon or smallmouth. 